Right, just turned February and I'm in the front guard, just a quick one really because I think this particular agave wants a video on its own we'll have to uh, excuse the traffic noise it's a weekend, it can get a little bit busy um, so yeah, the agave americana um, nice blue agave and we've got to bear in mind that we've just had two Arctic blasts this winter, you know, two weeks solid of minus temperatures down to sort of minus four and a half. And uh, the second one, which is a week of sort of minus twos and threes. But regardless of that, the point is this plant still looks as good today as it did in uh, the summer and I know it's in a slightly raised bed so that's going to help but um, just looking at it I thought this might be a bit of a gamble to have this sort of unprotected as it were with no overhead protection because in the past I tend to with my, my arid plants to keep a, a shelter over them just to stop that that dampness but um, like I say this was freshly transplanted uh, sort of springtime last year so it's not even been a year in this position so it's been played about with and uh, yes yeah, took two arctic blasts totally unprotected obviously I've got it in a good free draining soil mix and yeah since I've uh, like I say, less than a year it's been relocated and there's several pups already coming out. We've got a little one there. And a little one under there. But yeah, so I've always sort of thought really that this this sort of uh, agave, yeah, you see it through about and they really do need overhead protection. Well, they do, but if you're getting planted right and if you're in the right sort of area, and um, the reason really why I didn't think about protecting this is I, I wanted to give it a try unprotected, but I've seen a few about in my area, actually in the ground, and they, you know, last three winters have grown away happily, no damage. So they do take a little bit of damp, but I mean, it, obviously it does depend on where you're planting them and how good your drainage is but um yeah i just thought i'd do a video because this one i see it obviously every day when i come back and forwards from work that's the first thing that i see as i come in the drive and uh just how surprising it is to to have a a plant which obviously shouldn't grow in there naturally in a uk environment you know, very damp, humid winters, very cold, but yet yeah, just giving it a little bit of uh, drainage, a bit raised up, or if it's in a pot, you know, they, they are really cold tolerant, it's just that damp. But um, yeah, so really just what to say, how surprised I am and how good this actually looks, considering, like I say, the two Arctic blasts. And this is, uh, I think this is gonna really do well that survived them blasts with really pretty much no damage um, I think this is going to get pretty big in the next year or two and to be fair it's already uh, a decent size it's probably a good three foot without the, the raised bed anyway just a, just a quick one really on you know how some plants can surprise you and how tough they can be. Right, thanks for watching.